with mental health being such a huge part of why I shut down and came back even stronger, there was no better way than to bring back me without having this special edition of J Talk. And you guys don't know how excited I am for you guys to watch this video. I am talking to somebody who has been a huge advocate for me, a huge, you know, help to me throughout my mental health journey. This is my sister and the founder of The Self Zone. She is somebody that is all about helping others return to their own personal well-being. If it wasn't for people like Brie and if it wasn't for people like my J Crew J fam, I don't know if I will be sitting here right now with the whole new makeup room and space and environment because you guys are the ones that push me to come back push me to take time for myself making sure I was okay encouraging me letting me know that it's okay whatever I'm going through people like you guys in my corner people like Bree in my corner for over 15 years is why I'm continuing to constantly fight the mental health battle that I am going through. I'm not giving up and I don't want others to give up, which is why I wanted to have this special conversation about mental health. We originally did plan to have it through Mental Health Month, Awareness Month, but in my opinion, there is never a wrong or right time to talk about mental health. We don't need just a month to talk about it. We could talk about it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, leap year 366, but you guys understand that this is not just a one and done conversation. I truly hope that you guys will tune in, listen in, and always make sure that you guys know you are never alone. I'm a light to talk to and I hope at the end of this conversation you guys will follow the self zone as well to make sure you guys aren't feeling alone in your personal mental health journey. So without further delay and without further ado, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoy this special edition of J Talk. So thank you for joining me, sis. Let's just go ahead and jump into this because we already know what we're here to talk about. And we just, the first question I have is, I want to start going about my mental health journey of healing. How should I like start that? Daily check-ins with yourself and saying like, how are you doing? Assess how your feelings and stuff. So you're not going through the, the weekend autopilot is very, very important. We live a fast paced life that we're always on autopilot that we do not check in with ourselves and checking with ourselves is just so important. And I feel like a lot of us, we check on ourselves when it's kind of like, you know, too late and just being mindful of what you consume. Like that's TV, that's food, because you're feeding, if you're feeding your body junk, you're, you're going to move around, you know, all sluggish and stuff. So just being real mindful of what you put in your body, what you're watching and just really like checking in with yourself daily. You are definitely a big advocate in journaling. Give, you know, just throw out some topics off the top of your head that you would say to help get us started into our mental health journey of journaling. Some questions you can ask yourself is, how am I feeling? What is a lesson that you learned this week? What is something that you look forward to? Because I'm telling you on Wednesdays is a standstill. So you always need to remind yourself of something that you're looking forward to because then Friday gonna be right there. So you're gonna be excited. So <laughs> that's a really good question. Um, and just really, nurture all parts of you like write a letter to your younger self and just tell them hey i'm proud of you i see you i hear you like just let let yourself know that hey you know i made it through a lot look where i am now so be proud of all your accomplishments what would you say to those who are like i'm in doubt about going to outside sources because i've always known that to be looked down upon the big thing i want to say it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to feel your feelings acknowledge all your feelings and it's okay to feel just because you have like a bad experience if you go to therapy it's okay i had this one bad experience and then that's it there's other therapists that out there that may connect better with them. And so just don't don't give up. If it's not a therapist, you know, because maybe they don't have the funds for a therapist, it's finding mm -hmm. that somebody that they can confide in. Who would you go to if you can't afford a therapist? Mm, that's a good question. Because sometimes family is funny and then sometimes your friend is funny. <laughs> so um, you have to uh, really assess and really feel like who has your best interest in mind? Who is going to be completely honest with you about you know, what you're doing or what you're feeling? And who's gonna like walk you through the process? Like who's gonna be there for you? You just want somebody that's to just be listening, like listen to what you're saying. Not like, I don't wanna hear, I told you so. That's not what I, that's not what I wanna hear. I wanna hear, 
just you just being intentional with me just listening just listening to what i'm saying to you you get what i'm saying like and just being there because like man when you vent with somebody and after the conversation you feel good you just like wow that was a really good conversation and then sometimes you have those moments where you've been with somebody and you're just like man why did i vent to them like now they're making me feel worse than how i felt before so we're just like it just, I don't know, you just get this feeling. It just feels good. Like, wow, you know, I really trust them. I feel good. It's like a nurture ship. Like, you feel nurtured. Like, the energy is reciprocated. And they're, they're they're just really listening to you. I was about to say, we're in our 20s, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> when we were in our 20s, even when we were in high school, I mean, I had mental health issues because I was just trying to be accepted by everyone and try to go talk to people. And the conversation is, you're too young to be dealing with this. You're too young to be dealing with stress. You know, live your life, live your best years. But we're telling people now, it's never too young to start. It's mm -hmm. never too young to start. What would be your like words of advice for even the younger generation to start their mental health journey, journey now? You're coming with these good questions. And I, and I, and I say that because I have a lot of younger um, cousins and stuff. And like at high school and stuff like that, whatever. And I am always, because I experienced, I always make sure I create a safe space for them um, to vent to me, to talk to me, like whatever. Um, because I want them to know like, you're not alone, okay? I want them to know like, you're not alone. I'm here for you, I see you. And especially younger kids who are, are dealing with like the transition of like if they're gay or they're bi and you know they don't want to come out and stuff like I create these safe spaces for them because I just want them to know like I see you and I hear you and and if you're a young person that's watching this and you're looking for someone that's like that really find someone that you're that that makes you feel safe um, that could hold space for you to accept you for who you are and listen to your feelings. You know, my heart breaks out for like the younger kids and like just listening to them, like what they go through because um, suicide is high for, you know, young adults and for younger kids. And it just breaks my heart to know that they sit there fighting battles by themselves. Like seeing a lot of kids like die by suicide or a lot of kids are, you know, they're bi or they're um, gay and they don't know how to come out because their family just, you know, looks like, oh, you can't do that. You know what I mean? It just, it breaks my heart. It literally breaks my heart. And it's just like, what can I continuously do to create these safe spaces so people could feel comfortable, you know what I mean? And know that they can feel comfortable in their skin. It's the little things like that that can help our younger generation know that they're not alone. Know that you don't yeah. always need to go to social media for approval. Because that's another thing. People are using mm -hmm. social media platform. How many likes, how many follows can I get? We yeah. just constantly keep letting this generation know we are a light and you guys are a light too. We need to see together that we're not alone. Mm -hmm. You guys can help us understand what you're going through and we can help you guys understand that we've been where you were. It just may have been in a different era. You're not alone whatsoever. And that's a lesson for us all. And the best thing I can say, and you could back me up or not, like is it's not gonna happen overnight. Say it again, please. <laughs> say it again. It's never going to happen overnight because if you it's think not. it is, it, it never works like that. You guys know I wouldn't have this person on my channel if I didn't recommend her myself and watching her and her mommy duties are a ball of light, especially <laughs> to see her little dance sessions with her son. And like I said, we hope you guys really did enjoy this conversation. Please stay tuned for more Jay Talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Jay. This is Bree, aka Twin, aka the number one reason why I'm still here. We will catch you guys <laughs> in our next one. Love you guys so much. See you guys. Peace. <laughs>